Is this film, is this film, is this film a bit repetitive? Let's find out. Hello Fanatics, I'm Dylan Phillips and this is the Film Fanatic Review bringing you Happy Death Day, starring Jessica Roth, Israel Broussard, and Ruby Modine. First we'll tell you what the movie is about, and our initial thoughts, then we'll move on to our spoiler free likes and dislikes. We'll finish up with some spoiler heavy thoughts on this film, and our final word. Happy Death Day follows the story of a college student that must relive the day she's murdered in an endless loop until she can stop the killer. Overall, I was pleasantly surprised by this film. It wasn't as scary as I was anticipating, but it still conveys a great story. For what I liked about this film, let's start off with the cast. The acting in this film is great, but the standout is by far the lead in Jessica Roth. She gives it her all in this film, and she is definitely the reason why this film works so well. The themes of this film are great as they explore a narcissistic, self-indulged protagonist that learns through their repeating day how they need to change. Sounds a lot like Groundhog Day. And it is a lot like Groundhog Day, except this film adds enough fresh twists to make it its own. It does have some cliches, but it isn't in the horror elements where this story shines, but more in the dramatic and comedic bits. It has a very dark humor to it, and you can really see this in the second act when Tree starts to investigate her own murder and is constantly caught in this loop. And I really like the climax of this film. It wasn't overly predictable, and the way that they did it didn't feel forced, didn't feel repetitive or overdone, and it fit the tone of the film. However, this film is not the slasher flick that one might expect going into it. It doesn't have as many horror elements as you would expect from it, and is more of a horror satire, if anything. And that's where I'll end our spoiler-free thoughts on this film. If you want to hear our final word or rating of this film, pause now and click the link in the description, because now, it's time for spoilers. First off, I have to reiterate how great Jessica Roth is in this movie. She absolutely blows away this performance, and without her, this film would be flatter than it is. In case you don't realize who she is, she played one of the roommates in La La Land. And what school makes their mascot a terrifying baby? Those masks are creepy as hell. Whenever the killer is looking at her and just staring at her blankly, no thank you, no. I also really like the eye for detail in this movie as well with most of these types of movies where you go on the endless loop and you pick up on key details as you go through. And it makes this movie very rewatchable because you can go back and pick up on these things in the very beginning of her loop. So I know that this film does fall into a lot of cliches because it is using a trope that has been seen and used endlessly. And most notably, it has been used in Groundhog Day, it was used in Edge of Tomorrow, and just so many other great films and even TV shows. But what makes this film work with it is not just the addition of the horror elements, but I feel like it takes it and brings it into a modern audience. It brings these darker themes, these young adult themes, darker humor, and it's all things that we see in current films. And there is one part of this film that's a bit far-fetched. When you're stuck in a loop like this and you know that somebody's killing you, why not repeat a day the exact same way and when you are faced with the killer, just pull their mask up and you know for next time and then that way you don't have to keep wasting lives. Another great aspect of this film that I really enjoyed was the fact that every time that she came back, she had bruises or scars from her previous injuries, so that it gave this kind of time constraint on her finding out who the killer is, because she's gonna die eventually from all of these internal wounds. And the best scenes to me were Tree's first death at the underpass, her death in the bedroom, the entire investigation sequence, and the final climactic scene where Carter is kind of screwing with her and you don't really know if it's the end of the film and then he goes, oh wait, I'm joking. That really added to the comedy aspect and definitely felt in line with the tone of this film. So, with the thoughts heard, here's our final word. Happy Death Day is an entertaining horror comedy that blends the fear of being followed with a coming of age story. While it follows a familiar formula, the dark humor, clever twists, and standout performances make the repetition entertaining enough. This film was much better than I had expected, so I'm gonna give Happy Death Day an 8. Thanks everyone for watching our review. Are you planning on seeing Happy Death Day? Or if you've already seen it, do you have something to add? What did you think of the story? Let us know in the comments below. I'm Dylan Phillips, and this has been the Film Fanatic Review. If you liked this video and you want to see more, hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Check out our latest Fanatic 5 video where we discuss the top Julianne Moore roles. 
Don't forget to follow us on our social media. And until next time, fanatics, keep it real.